Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a spinning icon animation all in Adobe XD. And it's themed around a game that came out recently called Red Dead Redemption 2. Absolutely loving it so far, fantastic game. And on some of the loading screens, there's a little icon that spins around like a revolver icon in the bottom right corner. Thanks to the new feature, Auto Animate in XD, we can now create something very similar. So let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe XD and you can see I have an iPhone 10 artboard on screen with a design that is Red Dead Redemption 2 themed. Uh, the game is awesome, I love it. We have a loading icon here that's kind of like representative of a revolver, something that's very similar to in the game. And in the game it spins round one chamber at a time and it looks pretty cool and we're going to try and replicate that in this tutorial. So we've got some text underneath that says loading as well. The font for this is called Lunchbox, if you're interested. That's a cracking name for a font. And these are just a bunch of circles, so you can create this yourself pretty easily with the ellipse tool. And the color is white, and the size of the border is 17 pixels. Okay, so first things first, let's just drag over all these circles, right click and select group. And from the layers panel, we'll give this group a suitable name. So we'll go with revolver and press return. And now what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this group. So let's go to edit down to duplicate. Depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC, the shortcut for duplicating an object is command or control D. So let's click this and we can then change this duplicated version to an absolutely outrageous color, something very different to our artwork. So it stands out. So we'll go for like a, a bright green like this, and then we'll just select this green version and just drop that opacity so we can see through it. And then from the layers panel, I can of course change the name to something else like guide or temporary or whatever you like. And then what we're going to do is actually go and duplicate this artboard. So if I just zoom out a little bit, we can select the artboard and again, press that command or control D shortcut. One, two, three, four. There we go. So we've got our five artboards and we can double click on the artboard name and name these suitably as well. So we've got two of five, three of five, four of five, and we'll go finish five of five. So prototypes can get quite complex and it's just a good idea to name your artboard so you know what's going on. It's always good to know what's going on. Okay, so fantastic. Well, let's zoom in on the first one. We don't actually need the guide on the first one, so we can select this and hit delete or backspace. Boom, it's gone. On the second one, however, we're going to zoom in. We'll just select this. And you can see from the layers panel, we can hover over here and lock that guide layer. And we'll select the revolver underneath. Remember that is the white version. And we'll hover over the corner until we see the rotate icon. And we'll rotate this once. So there we go, one rotation. And we can then unlock the guide layer, select it, hit delete or backspace, boom, and it's gone. We'll move on to the next one. So again, we select the green version or the guide. We just lock that so we don't move it. Select the revolver. And then one and two. Okay, so we can now unlock the guide, select it, hit delete or backspace. We'll do the next one. So we'll select this, lock the guide, and I'll just zoom in a bit more so you can see what I'm doing. And if I select the revolver layer, and we're going to rotate this now three times. One, two, and three. Now, if you don't draw your circles perfectly or whatever, and you get this and you get like a little bit of white around the edge, don't worry about it too much because once this animation starts playing, honestly, you're not going to notice it. So there we go, we've done that one. We can unlock the guide layer, select it, delete it, boom. Let's come back out. And now we're on to the last one. So again, we're going to select the green version, the guide will lock it, select revolver, and we'll rotate this four times. One, two, three, and four. And of course, depending on your animation, you may wish to rotate this more or less, but rotating this revolver just seems very fitting. Okay, well, we'll unlock the guide, select it, delete or backspace, we are done. So we can zoom back out, and we've now got five artboards. We have this starting state here. We have one revelation here where it moves once, it moves twice here, moves three times here, and it moves four times here. So now we can animate these together in prototyping mode. 
So let's switch over to that from the top of the screen. Boom. And we can close down the layers panel because we are finished with this now. Let's make this fit the screen. And what I'm going to do is select this first artboard and from the blue tab, click and drag to the second artboard. And you can see we get this pop up. The trigger is going to be a time delay. So as soon as we start playing the prototype, there will be a time delay before it starts. And we can set that delay to, well, let's go for one second. Now, after that delay, the action is going to be an auto animate. The easing to how this transition, this auto animate plays out. We're going to use bounce because you'll see why in a minute. It's got a cool little bounce at the end that just fits this perfectly. And the duration of this bounce transition is going to be 0.5 seconds. Super. So what we can do now is we can select the second artboard and we can drag this from the blue tab to the third artboard and boom, it populates all those settings from before. So it remembers that and we can simply select each respective artboard and just drag to the next and it remembers all those same settings and then you select the fifth artboard from the blue tab, drag that all the way back to the first and it will just keep looping forever. So what's going to happen? is when we play the prototype in a moment, it's going to automatically detect that rotation from each artboard to the next, and it will auto animate that rotation. So if we click play up here, boom, you can see it starts playing that animation. And then when it gets to the last artboard, it will swing back to the beginning. And uh, yeah, this will just keep looping indefinitely. So there we go, we've created a loading animation icon themed around Red Dead Redemption 2. Fantastic game, all in Adobe XD. So there we go, there's a look at a couple new features, time delay and auto animate, and how they can be fused together to create a spinning icon animation. So what we can create with these new features is virtually limitless, it's awesome. But if you've got any questions or comments about this video, please do drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.